Started the band in 2013, and uh, we originally met on Craigslist, which is where all great relationships start. Uh, you either get killed or or you form, you a, form band a band or something else. We are like a a big family, but we all have the usual uh, the usual troubles that a family would have. You know, we'll argue from time to time, but for the most part, we all get along very nicely and and hang out. And you know, it, it goes beyond the band. Like three of us live together and we have to share all of those fond memories. We currently have two EPs recorded right now. One we recorded at Real Feel Studio with Will Snyder. That was our first one that we put out. Now we put out Brace Yourself with uh, Andrew Wade, and that was a great, great time for us. We learned a lot from that experience, and now we're planning to do our next uh, EP, which is going to be six songs with Andrew Wade again, and we're super stoked. I would say the closest band that, that relates to us right now is A Day to Remember. It definitely helps that our producer is their producer, but the whole just uh, pop punk but driving rock, hard rock idea, mixing a little bit of screams, that's kind of the direction that we've been going. <laughs> So right now, as far as our writing process goes, uh, everyone ships in their own part. Uh, I feel like every band needs to have a core nucleus of songwriters. For example, a lot of songs will start out with an idea Damien will have, or I will have, or Corey will have, and then we bring it to the table and everyone gets their own kind of say and brings their own little flavor to it. Half of it for the last chorus and then the outro. Yeah. Or to start the song, we'll just put a mic back there and you'll start it. Pum, pum, bat, pum, pum, bat, pum, pum, bat, knock, knock me out! out. You better start practicing, man. So, second, after the first chorus, we stop and build up to the two-step. The second chorus, third chorus is the quiet one where you were doing like crazy tom roll. And uh, yeah, you were doing like pretty much the bass tabs in the song. You were doing that, then we built it up. Uh, we are currently recording the new EP for 2017. It is definitely a lot more challenging than the last one considering what we brought to Wade the first time wasn't what Brace Yourself is now. And after hearing and seeing the process of what he turned it into, we decided, okay, we need to definitely step up and really bring to the plate something that is going to outdo Brace Yourself. So to definitely put our five minds against a genius like him, uh, it's definitely quite a challenge. Corey let's get flying the entire in the face. Bam! Look at that yeah, laugh. Get some, uh, some straight tempo rolls going. Oh, yeah. Just kind of loosens up everything. It's music, baby. I can tell you personally, growing up in a small town in Maine and trying to start bands in smaller markets, it's really hard to get the name out. It's really hard to find shows to play. It's really hard to find other bands to play with. Luckily, we live in an awesome city, Orlando. Not many of us are actually from here. But we've all made our way here and we can tell the difference from the other places we've lived that there's awesome bands, awesome venues, and endless opportunities. Unlike a lot of bands, we actually toured DIY where Every single show we go on, we book, we call the venue, we call the local bands. We set it all up ourselves and it's a lot of work but it's definitely a lot of really rewarding and we learn a lot from it. My favorite thing about performing would have to be just the crowd engagement because everyone goes to, to see the band and not exactly listen to the band because you can always listen to them in your car, on the radio, whatever. But when you go and you see the band actually perform in the way you, you hope they do by giving energy, interacting with the crowd, and then all of a sudden you're giving that energy and you see the crowd feeding it right back into you, that's definitely my favorite thing about performing. It's just that, that crowd experience, the crowd interaction and, and having that kind of support. It's our music when we're making it, but once we put it out there, it's for you guys. It's your music, so if, whether you work out to it, whether you use it you know, as inspiration to make you happy or use it when you're sad, whatever way you use it, go for it, because that's why we made it. So looking back to, from where we started uh, to where we're going right now, I think we are on the right track. I mean, we started in uh, about 2013. Uh, it just started with me and Andrew, and we were just playing in my garage for a little while, just playing six songs or something that we recorded and we would play for hours just the same songs with each other and then we're like hey 
I think we should like try and expand and like, uh, you know, create something like a band and start playing out more and getting more experience and stuff like that. That's where we started to recruit members uh, such as Mike, where got on bass, then we got Corey, guitars, and then uh, Tyler on drums. And then from then on, we just started expanding more, playing more shows, getting more opportunities. And uh, you know, we were, we were just really enjoying it so much and we felt like what we were doing was our passion. So we felt like every time we got on stage, we were enjoying ourselves and like that was pushing us to the next level. And people were enjoying it. People were coming to shows and we were just like, hey, I think we're doing something right. Thank you guys so much. This is the beginning where everyone can kind of jump on and go, wow, this band Felicity is coming out of Orlando. Let's all support this new act that's going to be the future rising stars. And if and if our fans could just try to bring at least one new person to a show or or, or just introduce the music to, to somebody new every week just to build that fan base because ultimately that's what gets a band noticed nowadays. They The, the labels want a, a product that they can just pick up and the product is your band but they need to know that a dedicated fan base is going to be behind it. On behalf of all of us, you know, say thank you for yes. years of support that everyone has given us between driving up hours from different cities to see us, giving it a shot at a whole different city that we've never been to, That's buying true. the merchandise, listening to the music, showing your friends, showing your family, constantly coming to the show, staying yeah. out late, and just being able to be a part of the journey because this is a dream for all of us. It's why we work hard. It's why we live together. We live, eat, breathe everything we do. And so to see the support and the dedication you guys give us, it really makes us feel better. And it helps us to show you that you know, we're not any bigger or better, we're all the same, and it's gonna be a big family, so you're welcome to join it, and we do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, we got Felicity. Thank you guys for coming out, all of you guys, thank you so much.